everybody and I'm back. What is up? Hopefully everyone is doing well. Long time no see. And today I am back with mixed daily training and let's go. And today... Hey Karma, 66 months at tier 3. Thank you so much. How are you doing? What's up? How are you Karma? Thank you for 66 months. How are you? Okay. How are you doing? Let's switch some games. Hi Niels, hi Eloy. I'm sad vacation is over. Okay. It's understandable. A, a five minute. An unusual position to say the least. I, I have never seen this happen. Uh, before, how are you doing, millennials? Eh. I mean, I don't know, Black sacked a pawn, but they got a pawn on D3. Then Maxim Colos of 2006. Hmm. I know what to play. <laughs> I mean, D5 is possible, but it's boring. Ah, okay. <laughs> A6 and Panda accepted for uh, tier 3 for 48 months. Thank you, thank you, Panda, for 48 months at tier 3. And we have a level 3 hype train, guys. Whoa, thanks, everyone. Mm, okay, you play. I mean, yeah, I think I play knight 6 here. Should be 3. Bishop e3 is a move I've never seen before. Okay, bishop e7, I guess, I don't know. I mean, what? Whoa! And Karma gifted five tier one subs to the community! Thank you so, so, so much, Karma. Martian Blitzinder, Best, uh, Alexei Yagudi, Nick Lupsu, and Ethan, you got them. Thank you so much, Karmar. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's go D6, I guess. Why not? Thank you so much, Karmar. I think it's fine. Level 4 hype train with 87% to level 5. That's huge. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, C6. But I don't know. I think I'll take Bishop B5. I don't know. I posted it. I played it. I did. Bishop D5, C6. He takes with the Queen. I guess C6, Queen B6. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Pensive music. Oh dear, is he, is, is, is he planning to checkmate me? Um, okay, bishop f6, f5, knight e5. I mean, if I get to f5, knight e5, I'm fine. e3, okay. Oh, look at this chat. I give a check and then I play queen b5. And okay, if he plays queen, queen d1, he has no threats in the air. And if he takes, I tr I'm happy to trade and then I'll try to... I'll try to win this endgame, you know? With an open file. I mean, it's still completely equal. Maybe it seems slightly better, but I mean, it's better to try there. Because that's why he has two bishops, which is very scary. Okay, queen f3. Fair enough. He doesn't want to trade the queens. Okay. 
Okay, rookie. I want to should I go this rook or that rook? I mean, I want to go knight h4 then. Yeah, I'll go with f rook. f7 can hang, but hopefully it won't hang. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good move. Most in the short, thanks for the follow, Cage Tranny and Juicy here and a fun. I mean, I guess rookie seven, rookie eight. Well, what else do I play? Ah, no, thank you. No, thank you. So, rookie eight. Ah, uh, okay, queen c4. Queen b6. I mean, queen b6 doesn't allow him to. I think let's go queen b6. Because queen c4 here has something like bishop e3. Yeah, but okay, queen b5. If bishop a4. Oh god, did I trap my own queen? Uh, hold on, chat. Chat, uh, there is some con un unexpected content. And long inside of tier 141, thank you so, so much. <laughs> you subbed at the right moment, uh, Lorgan, right when the content is on. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I got too carried away with some, some of my queen adventures. Okay, queen c5 here, bishop b3. Uh, a chat. I mean, I mean, maybe content get out of hand. Choo choo train. Yeah, level five. Thanks a lot, guys. About to beat your last record. Ooh, I don't even know what my last record is. Channel record level six, but that's level five. Yeah, it's still quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if it's about, but yeah, still massive. Whoa, oh, Morgan, 10 gifted tea. Yeah, now we definitely beat the record. Thank you so much, Lorgan. Thank you. Level 659%. Whoa. Thank you, Lorgan. Gnarga, you, Euxen, Jackie, Maya, Brian, Deloy, Yhayon, Skurly, Psyder09, Shocking Turnip, LoreZ1X, and Bunkin8, I got them. Thank you so, so much, guys. Let's play bishop c7, I suppose, or what? Yeah, I mean, if I win a pawn, I have chances, so that's right. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> Level 6, 59%. Thank you so, so, so much, everybody. I mean, I have chances, you know? It's definitely not, not, not so lost. Uh, it's lost, but it's not so, so lost, it feels like. <laughs> um... Just making some moves hoping for a miracle. <laughs> Unlikely is that anything good will happen, but I mean you 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 gotta try, you know. You gotta try. I chat. <laughs> yeah, I got I get too excited with like putting pressure. I like completely miss his idea. 
And then when I play queen e6 and play a piece down, I decide to sack my queen and play uh, a rook for a queen. Okay, this... Uh, thank you, Manus Purse. How are you doing? <sighs> My position is definitely quite sad, you know. Uh, 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 it's really sad. <laughs> um, but okay. Nice. Okay, guys, push, push until, until, until it's over. You gotta try. I, I don't know. I mean, if I get this point for that one, I'll be happy, you know. But for that one, I'm not gonna be happy. That's, <laughs> that's the uh, the thing, you know. Uh, welcome. Thank you, Pookie. How you doing? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Definitely not the best game I've played ever. Uh, but... But yeah, and Pookie sub is prime for that month! Thank you so much, Pookie! So we officially beat the record as the best hype trade ever! Thank you so much, guys! The previous record was level 6, uh, 6 evokers, and now we officially beat the record! Thank you, y'all! One month in a row! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know, Pookie. <laughs> yeah, this is unfortunate that your streak has come to an end. King G8, I mean, maybe I'll survive this game. If yes, then it's gonna be a miracle chat, but unlikely. But, you know, gotta, gotta, gotta be positive. Until he meets me. <laughs> it went three before. Yeah. Oh god. Yes. Oh, it's a, that was a, not the best game I've played by far. Oh, yeah. Wait, what do I play? <laughs> okay. Yeah, but this is gonna give credits to this guy. He played very well as well. And the hype train has ended. Thank you so, so much, everyone. 19 gifted subs. 19 gifted subs. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's share what emote I got. Oh, I got this! I'll... Uh, what emote is that? Does anyone know? It looks like some birds, but I don't know if it is an actual bird. I think it's some pigeon slash something something. Thank you so much everyone, 19 gifted subs. This is absolutely huge. Uh, but I got destroyed in this game, let's be honest. But yes, this guy played well. Uh, this guy played pretty well. Pigeon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Help! Help me! I cannot even make a Rosen trap! Come on! Gotta give some room for Cotton, buddy! Okay, he gives me room to escape. I don't know why he didn't make me make three moves in a 30 different ways. Uh, I mean, okay. No, I cannot even make a stalemate trap. I wanted I'm outslipped. Come on. No. <laughs> okay, that wasn't a great game. That wasn't the best game. But my opener played very well, honestly. Nil one nil, you know. Pretty good for twenty four hundred. Didn't think at all, yeah, well done, but terribly done for me. Yeah, so, well done, let's go for another game chat. 
I'll analyze it later. And I, yeah, this guy played pretty well. Um, but cannot say the same about myself. I was surprised this Bishop B3. Like, really, i never seen it before. Yeah, I mean, C3D for logical rookie one, it's super Bishop B3. Ah, but he transposed, what? Transposed into Bishop B3. Mm, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, okay. It was an well played game for me and a very well played game from my opponent. Okay, it happened. Nothing to worry about. Ah, uh, yeah, I just. This is D4. Okay, I'm playing Dragon 15. 68. Good luck. Okay, chat, you know what? Let's go C5. Ooh, Alapin. I like playing Alapin, honestly. Uh, what is a weird thing about me? Is that I like playing against an isolated pawn. And also I like playing with an isolated pawn. Uh, which I don't think anyone ever has liked both at the same time. You either like playing against or with an isolated pawn. But I like the both. Like, I mean the positions are quite chill. So yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird definitely. Uh, but yeah. I'm sure if I played the best Alapin, yeah, because he hits d5. It takes. d6. I mean, it should be quite okay, I suppose. I hope. Okay, my bishop hangs. Um, maybe it's not okay. <laughs> um. Okay, bishop b6. If this I'll go f6, if bishop g4 I'll go f6. Yeah, here I was thinking to take and like knight e7, queen b6 or something. And then my idea is to castle. If I castle, I should be alive. That's for sure. Okay, queen b6. b2 hangs. I want to castle. I want to go rook d8. I think I'm doing pretty, pretty well. Okay, <laughs> uh, I don't want to take, but maybe I will. I don't know. Oh, wait, his bishop's hanging. Oh, look, queen b2 is bishop on e2 is hanging. Hey, chat, I don't know if it's good. I honestly, probably it's not good. Most likely it's not good. But I don't know why I'm feeling greedy. <laughs> Uh, most probably, I'm probably not gonna get the best position I could, but I mean, I mean, okay, now castle, I have c3 square for my, for my queen, knight, e, 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 e. I thought you would do another move order, yeah, but this I cannot take, my queen strapped, okay, fair enough, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, chat, I'm going to try to grind this out. I'll go into a dead draw position, hope, for the best. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I had something like, okay, maybe I had something like queen before. But take, 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 bishop c5, these things. I'm a pawn up, but I don't really know if the position is right. Okay, this guy doesn't doesn't want to go for safe stuff. He wants to destroy me. Okay. Okay.
Yeah, I don't know. I'm not playing my best just today, honestly. Hey, yeah, back how are you doing? Um, I mean, okay, I want to trade the rooks, you know, some playing that end game. <laughs> Chad, that was a brilliancy, wasn't it? That was an absolute brilliancy. <laughs> yeah, it was like, he was plus two. I'm doing good, Bexby, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, terribly. And then, bam! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, I was fine. I should have taken BC, okay? Ah. I send him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no worries about writing it wrong. Uh, okay, the queen trade, okay. Uh, yeah, chat. I mean, I don't know how that happened, but I mean, I guess it happened. <laughs> Yeah, I played the opening badly. I, I, I misplayed the Alapin, even though I said I like to play it. I misplayed it, so then I got equal, then I misplayed again, but then I bam, made him one. <laughs> okay, let's do some puzzles. Oh dear, I think I had this puzzle like five times. I'm pretty sure I think. No? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I No, I'm pretty sure I take. Queen G7, King of 5. I'm pretty sure I take. I wasn't sure enough to take. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what now? I had Bishop B, Bishop G5, Bishop F6. I want to mate him and then this is or something like that. What else can I play? I can play something like, ooh. I can play queen d8 with the idea of bishop h6, and then if he takes to queen h8, can h7 and go queen f6. This looks pretty nice. This queen of one bishop here, can h7, queen f6, anyway, f2 is an hanging. Yeah, that looks brilliant. Yes, bishop h6, queen f6, queen f2. Bam! Uh, queen d2. Here, here. Then okay, can I see what I take? Uh, what else does he have? <laughs> That's a question. Queen d2, king g8. Yeah, queen d2? Oh. I mean, I'm probably missing something, of course. Eh? Okay, rook e1. Uh, what, what is his plan? Uh, perhaps rook e1, queen c7, if here he gives a check, there knight b3, and if I take, he takes, and c2 is an angle. Maybe that's the idea. Uh, but still, queen b4? I don't know. Queen b4, knight b3, check, knight c1, here. I don't know, I'm going for it. Uh, yeah, can h7, right? Ah, I should have taken in queen d4. Yeah, that makes the job easier for sure, but... Uh, what I was thinking about... Uh, king g8, king h7... This, 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 this... This, 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 this... Oh, he takes b6? Alright, yeah, he has like 50 million pawns. He has 5 pawns for a bishop. Five pawns for a bishop is quite a good compensation. Indeed, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, rook b6, most likely. Knight d2, rook c6, knight f1. And what to do? Also, bishop b5, queen b7, c6. Ooh, this looks pretty good. Yeah, bishop b5. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Chad, what am I... I don't think I'm missing anything, hopefully. I mean, I didn't. Okay, good. And I see someone got plus five, you know, it felt like I said for like three seconds. Uh, <laughs> back to Chesco. 
Okay, queen h7 most likely is forced. Mm, okay, rook d7 here. Here. Knight a2, king b1. Yeah, why not? Ah, you see here, okay, rook d5. Rook d5, knight d5, c takes d5. Or anything else. I don't know. I mean, it would be great if the queen wouldn't be here. For example, this is a bishop h5. But the queen is here, pin and bishop. Uh, and uh, take, 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 take. I don't really see how I win. I mean, okay, rook d5. Rook d8. Ah, but then I take. Queen is very good, rook d2. Uh, yeah, probably seems like this way, you know. Okay, minus 3, I was somewhat close, I guess. Oh, made in 2! Oh, okay, I made in 2, but check. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, queen of 8, king of 8, yeah. I missed that. Okay, I've had this puzzle before. Quite recently, if I'm not mistaken. Um... By the way, Karma, did my uh, life opponent in round in game two qualify for the BM norm or no? Or was the blunder not blunderful enough? Yeah, I would play honestly. I would play Queen E3 now. King C2, C6. If Queen C6, I go here, here, here. King C1, Rook C8. Take, take. B3 is hanging and C3 is hanging. Because if C6 now there is Queen E5, so Queen E3 is this C6. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's correct, no? And, uh, yeah, 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 and, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, plus 11, good. You get a norm, okay, good. <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah, but okay, that was, I, I didn't play my the, the perfect chess, especially in game one, and in, in game two also, played pretty weak chess, but, I mean, I wanted to trade the rooks, but he planned on making one, you know. <laughs> Alright, h5, this I want to take, as always I want to take. You know which item is somewhat late to 6, so I think h5 wins. Yes, rook g6, queen c2. Rook a1. King h2. No, I don't know. Okay, I mean, Queen C2 looks interesting, but, but, maybe there is Queen D3, and after Rook, I want to go King G2, with the idea that there is no Queen of 1 check. That looks good. Mm -hmm. What now is the question? I mean, I guess Queen C2 or Queen B1 can work. may work, but I don't know if it does work. <sighs> and if any of those work, which one? They look identical! They literally look the same. No, I don't see any difference, like any. I probably go C2, because it's just closer to everything, but... Why not B1? That's the same question. At the same time, I have the question, why not B1? Oh, 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 oh. Maybe B1 is actually safer, I don't know. I know, it feels like C2 has more squares covered, you know. B1 may be safer. I don't see the difference. I know, hold on. 
C2, I need C2 serve Queen G2 in here, right? Yes, and okay, now Rook F6 wins. Yeah, yeah, but the thing was, for example, he goes like Queen, I don't know. I honestly am not sure, but for example here, I have Rook H6, this Queen G2, and with my Queen on B1, I couldn't give a check, and otherwise, okay. Nice, fair enough, and nice that I spotted, spot, spotted it or spotted the difference, I don't really know. Which is correct. I mean, spotted it sounds sounds correct, but I don't really know if it is. So sorry if I spelled if I said it incorrectly. Check here. Check my white threat is rook f one. If this king e two, bishop moves d three. Looks pretty juicy. Yeah. What do I play? No, but what do I play? It's fun. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I get it more or less. Cannot say that I really like, understood it fully, but I mean, okay, I got it more or less. All right. Mm, mm, okay, my queen is hanging. First of all. Second of all, he wants to go queen e6 and attack my rook and take it. <clears throat> right now I have a rook. He has a bishop. But I also have four extra pawns. So it's 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 interesting. I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I had this puzzle already, but I do not remember the solution. <sighs> Sorry. I mean, it can be simply here, take, take, here, can it shade, and I want to push, push? I mean, it can be. I'm not saying that it is, but it can be. I can, how you doing on time, no C? What is up? No, but I had this puzzle for absolutely sure. But uh, I don't remember the solution. Rook C F8 looks tempting though. It looks pretty tempting. What I can also play, I'm doing good things. I can play here, and if queen e6 or king g7, and if queen e7, ah, rook is in this, uh, bishop is hanging. Okay. What if I play queen? h5, queen e6 here, uh, here, here. Yes, I think it's correct. King g7, rook f7, I take. Nice. Interesting. Uh, kaboom. Knight of seven, king of seven, queen d five, rook e six, queen b seven, king e eight. Okay, if king g eight or king f eight, I have queen g seven. And if king of eight, king eight, I go f seven and eight. That's winning. If king e eight, I go queen here, here, queen d six. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Oh, is it knight g six? Yes. And what next? 
Oh, queen h6, queen g6, f7. I've seen queen g6, but he escapes refuge, but it makes it nice. That's a nice puzzle. I make his bishop taking away his king uh, retreatment square. Very nice, very nice puzzle. Very, very nice puzzle. Alright, it looks like it's h takes g, honestly. Queen g4, rook h8. King g3, queen e1. King g2, rook h4, queen d7. Okay, I mean, I feel like it takes. And check. And now, check king g2. Now, I'm not sure after queen e1, king g2, honestly. I can take, but after takes, I have nothing. Check. If bishop f4, queen c3, and then takes a1. This, this, this. This, king, yeah, I think it's queen e5. Yep, queen c3. And exactly, I get plus one from today's solving chat. Very good result, I'd say. Plus one is plus one, you know. Um, six correct. I failed. I mean, quite fine. Let's play computer now. Let's play Mr. Komodo with our handshake agreement. What is dual bot? Uh, a question mark is rating. Oh god, that's that's terrifying. Plus one, yeah. For in ten minutes, no ten. How much time did it took? In about 15 minutes, plus one. You know what's good is that I didn't get minus one. <laughs> always always gotta find a positive sin, you know. Ah, uh, okay, C4. Oh, yeah, this is a pretty fine position. Knight d2. If takes, I take with a knight. If not, a castle. I'm pretty chill here. I've not seen bishop b6. Okay, h3. Queen c2 or something. Just developing, you know. b3. If he plays b5. It's not scary, I hope. Bishop b2. And before will really he take? It takes. Right here. Take, take. The position looks pretty chill. Looks like it is going to the handshake agreement slowly. Okay, he wants to go e5. I mean, he can play e4 by creating weakness on d4. I can play bishop c4, honestly. And then take it and take. So I'll keep him with at least a weak, isolated pawn. But after this, 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 rook e5, he may get some rook g5 ideas or something like that. So I'm not sure. I can play rook b1, e5, take, take. I think Ruby one is more, more calm. Uh, okay, because I can now I can play bishop c4 and trade the bishops whenever I want. And he doesn't have rook e5, rook g5. So perhaps that's what I'm going to do right, right now. Takes. It takes. And it takes and rook g1. Yes. So now he has an isolated weakness. Ah, uh, hold on. Okay, I can go rook d5. If rook c2, I can take. Good thing is that, is that he doesn't have mate in one rook c1. But he has rook a2. And he wants to go rook a3, take my bishop. And at the same time, he wants to go rook a1 and mate me. 
So perhaps that's not what I really want to do. So maybe I should simply play queen d2, honestly. And because if queen d3 is rook c3, uh, but I think after queen d2, attacking d5, it should be quite fine. Okay, take, 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 rook c2, check here, here, oops, here, 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 here. Bishop c5, I'm a pawn up chat. I mean, I will, I will for sure try to grind this position. <laughs> why not? If you have the possibility, why not? Bishop c5, perhaps. So I want to make him take. Check here, here, here. And I want to keep the rooks. Rooks are strong with the bishop, and as I'm a pawn up, it may be good because otherwise, I am likely to go into a bishop endgame. And based on my experience, it feels like bishop endgame is easier to hold than a rook endgame. So I think bishop c5 is my move. Check. Yes, I'm bishop a7. Hi to Lenshik, how are you doing? Okay. I would definitely even prefer to play rook d4, uh, bishop, uh, not rook d4, bishop d4, and try to win this endgame. But I think I'm gonna play h4, fixing his pawns. Okay. That's nice. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, but if I play bishop d4 now? Bishop b1, rook g7, here, 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 here. I don't know. Because bishop b1 is pretty pretty scary threat, honestly. I mean I can play bishop to d4 and after bishop uh, bishop e1. E4 here rook g7. Oh yeah, honestly that looks really good. So bishop d4. If he takes, I'm gonna think a bit. I can play e takes d, or I can play rook d4. I don't know which which one I try to grind. I'd like to grind more, because d pawn can be scarier. But if my rook won't be at the d file, he has to turn my bite to the pawn, you know. So I think I'm gonna just try to play this four v three. It is a dead draw, I think, if he plays correctly. But maybe he won't play correctly. <laughs> okay, f three. Uh, rook g3 or oh no? Uh, I think it can be pretty fine. So if rook e6, king g7, king h2, king f7, rook e5, king f6, I'm forced to go f4. Yeah, I think I'll go rook e3, and I'm not sure if I want to play f4 right at the very moment. Uh, I don't know, let's go like rook a3 or something. Shouldn't hurt. <coughs> and now you're king h2, king g3. Okay, let's give a check. Uh, okay, king g3 now, I guess. Yes, rook e2. Gonna be hard to win. <laughs> gonna be pretty hard to win, but okay, I'm not gonna... I don't wanna give away my pawn, so let's play rook a3. Okay. How do I win? It's a big question, chat. I don't know, let's give a check, rook a6. I can try to play e4. After take take, go like king f4, king f3, g3, king f4, and try to win this. I mean, honestly, probably it's a good try. A good practical try. Mm hmm. He has a weakness. So if I reach the weakness, he'll be good for sure. <laughs> That's why he plays rook b5, preventing king g5. Um, Alright, what if I play, I don't know, rook 2. I don't know. Give one check. Hi, Peter. How are you doing? Uh -huh. I don't know. Let's play rook c6. Okay. 
like definitely the worst result I can get out of this is a draw. There is absolutely no way I can lose this, but I can try to win this. Maybe I'll be successful. Okay. <laughs> here, <coughs> here, 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 and takes rookie five, can you six rookie five? I mean, I know E and F1 are drawn. <coughs> Sorry. But I'm not sure about E, e and H1. Can G5? Chad, this looks like I'm going to break our agreement. Oh, God. God, I 200 games. <laughs> when, when will you have time to play them all? <laughs> 200 plus, 225 games? When are you, when are you planning to play them? <laughs> Kid H5? <clears throat> Did you fucking shame me? Whew. That's a lot of games. Oh, I hate this game so much. It is completely, 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 completely winning, but I just... <laughs> this guy always tricks me. <laughs> Internati. I am sorry, but I don't know what Internati is. Um, sorry about that. I know, I have a lot of moves to spare though, which is a good scene. Okay, King G5. And Rook F5. Bing, please take, please, please. No, you won't. Okay. Now, I push his skin away. I'm going to my games at some point. <laughs> Chat. Chat, I'm breaking our handshake agreement. I'm sorry, Komodo. At least I'm planning to break it. <laughs> but now King of Six, no? Oh no, simply G6 just wins, I think. Anti weak teaching chess. Okay, but how did you get so many games? <laughs> yeah, I just, I just didn't understand. Like, we were talking about how you have 200 PC games, and then you say about where you're working. <laughs> it's a bit confusing, you know. I thought the internati is some, I don't know, some store for PC games and you get the games for free or something. Ah, hold on, chat. G6, rook f2. King e6, rook e2, king d7. Oh, I got. Ooh, I cannot draw arrows. Uh, king d7, rook d2, king e8. I mean, sure, if they save that... Hmm, I mean, if this rook g7 is skin of 8, I'm winning. Rook g6, rook g6 is not stalemate, and this rook of 7 take, take, it's not stalemate. But... Rook h2, I think the same story. 
kine fejt shrups, kine fejt rrug h6 shrug g8 e nëzër e se mbëjnit BUT 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 The thing is if I get my... oh gosh, why am I misclicking so much? If it goes like rook a2 Finish only games in a week! Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Ha! <laughs> That's a lot of video game hours! <laughs> wow! Or maybe I should not create any headache for myself and just play king of six. Make him either check me and then go king g6 or go here rook g6. Yeah, that's probably the easiest. And if he goes rook now I go g6. And this should be completely win. I go like rook g6 in 7 rook g8. Yes, yeah, this is probably the, the easiest thing I can do. <laughs> God, come on, I, you really have to be so annoying. Okay, can I have oh, some news? Tell me. Oh, oh. oh why is the Rukan game so hard? I know, hold on. Help me, chat, please. This guy is trolling. I mean, I see a forced win. If this I take, if this it's made, if this I check, Kinji this, he take, 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 h7, I promote. And if he goes king, h7, I have rook, f8, rook, b6, king, e5, I win. But after rook, f8, how many times are you gonna ask me, Peter? Uh, h7, rush down, I check. But okay, rook, f7, g7, king, h7, rook, f8, rook, f8. But the thing is, I need to under promote there, chat. It's completely winning, but I'm a bit worried about the under promotion. Please just check me. Oh, thank you. Okay, now we go away and then check so and rookie change g6. The handshake agreement is broken. It's broken and you cannot be fixed anymore. The handshake agreement is broken. Chat, I should troll this guy for not resigning. I should troll this guy. To troll this guy for not resigning and disrespecting me. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable how, like, how, why doesn't this guy resign? Checkmate. That's what you get for disrespecting someone and not resigning. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Yeah, I mean, so I, I think it was a pretty decent grind, you know? It was probably completely equal, but that's how all grinds pretty much start. Dead drop, but boom, you win, you know? That's how the grinds go. The last time checkmate happened in a world championship match was 1929. Whoa. So people for 100 years haven't been checkmated. Then what's the goal of chess if you're not checkmating your opponent? Huh? Okay, 90 accuracy, pretty decent. He got 87.7. Let's go. Pretty, pretty fine, if I do see so myself. Yeah. 
captures the chicken queen. Oh my goodness, guys. How did I not see a uh, queen d5? And he can capture my queen. Like, yeah, this is completely blind, blind spot from me. How did I see queen d5? He can take queen d5. Oh my god. I got so lucky that I wasn't lost, chat. It's unbelievable how lucky I got. I mean, crazy stuff. I, I completely missed that he has queen d5. Mistake to you. Okay, e5 or what? I don't know. But what do you want? Okay. Yeah, take care. You, you have a lot of video games to complete, Peter. Take care. 225 video games is quite a lot. Take care. Bye -bye. I don't know what to play. Nope. Da, 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 da. Ah, ah. I don't know. Help. <laughs> this helps. This hint helped so much. Thank you, Chesscom, for hinting. Yes, but I literally repeated once. I didn't want to repeat more. Okay. Ah, I guess I win somewhere after King e6, e5. Okay, makes sense. Chat, you want to see a brilliant game I've played in the recent OTB tournament or no? Yeah or no? Excellent. This move leads to checkmate, but you still had to get there faster. I don't care. I was, just, I was disrespecting me. Chat, yeah or no? Okay. Uh, Alright, let's first analyze the game. It's life open and then... And then. I will show it to you. Ian's first life open nil one nil for him and one one two for me. Yeah, I mean I got a decent survivable surviving survivable position. Then I play like Queen C seven. I would be forced, but still playable. But I played Queen B five and I completely blunt my Queen. And uh, then my opponent played very well and I pretty much got destroyed. And yeah, he played very well and he made me. <coughs> I tried to rose and trap. Didn't work. He saw for nine seconds before mating me in one. Yeah, he had like three mates in one, so very understandable. Why was he thinking about uh, mating one for so long chat? So, yeah. So, guys, uh, more opinions. Do you want me to show a game from a recent OTB tournament or no? Or that you're not today? Do you think chat? Let me make a poll. Another prediction poll is, you know, that's right. Sure, hold on, let me poll, yes. A uh, new poll. Should I show my... Okay, yeah, sure, okay, three, okay, no, no poll needed. All right, let me quickly finish analyzing the games. I don't know your solution, Rudy7, yeah, very nice, thank you. Uh, I will quickly finish showing the games on leeches. I'll show the game, then I'll analyze the games on chess base. In the second game, yes, I somewhat misplayed it as well. Uh, this. I had many good games. I need to decide which one to choose uh, to show. I won a pawn. I decided to be greedy. It was, I got a nice position. Though here I had to take B takes in after 96 is. I'd be a pawn up and pretty fine because in the game I lost a pawn and was much worse. But I just went for this line just for one trap. Rook D8, Rook D8, Rook D1. And he fought for it. So that's how I won it. Um, yeah. Quite an unusual way to end the game, what are your words? But yeah, and here I want to play queen d3. If queen c6, queen d1 is made, and rook c6, queen d1 is made as well. So, yeah. Now, chat, one sec, let me, let me... But what happened in round three, when you spurs? What happened in round three? A tournament? Yeah, I played an OTB tournament in Germany recently, Niels. Uh, but why not round two? You know? I mean, round two and round three were great. I don't know which to show first. Oh god, what, what is this user? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of ran random... Uh, random... Uh, random letters and numbers. 
Okay, okay. Round three, round three. Yeah, I'll show round three, chat. <laughs> oh, that was such a brilliant scene. Okay. So I played with about black pieces against the 2100. She played d4, c4, and knight f3. I had up. Oh no, oh no, wait. Uh, oh no, this was a guy who played e4 and d4. Pretty much all the opponents, all the games I played with black, all the games I played with black, my opponent always played one d4. Or, or not 1d4, but one game was knight of c, but it didn't transpose into, into d4. So literally nobody played d4. It was so boring. Uh, but, yes, this guy was playing e4 and d4. I didn't know what to prepare because this guy was a gambit player. Uh, this guy was a gambit player. And against e4, e5, he played f4. And against c5, I just didn't know what he played. He had like one, two games, but super old. And against d4, I also didn't know what to do. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. He plays d4 and boom. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you shall replies to 1d4. <laughs> I didn't know that just we would even call this as an opening. Unusual replies to 1d4. Okay. Mm. Um... No, but I really didn't know what to play. And yes, I prepared one a6 against both e4 and d4. <laughs> Sometimes I played a6, uh, this guy laughed pretty much. Uh, this guy laughed, that neutral replies defense. Yeah, this guy laughed and uh, okay, he played London. And I'm like, I, I prepared for like three hours against e4 and no, but guys, if you would be playing with white, uh, the time control was 90 plus 30, normal classical time control and the 30 move increment uh, on uh, move 40. I was preparing for e4. After d4, a6, what is the most logical way to play, right? Of course e4, no? But then this guy was probably preparing London, so he decided to stick to it. I play e6. I mean, okay. I still, want, I still wanted him to play e4. I prepared something there. Uh, I wanted him to play e4, but he played bishop of 4 I played knight f6, e3, h6. So, this knight of 6 London stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he played h6, and then here I got surprised. I mean, he played bishop d3. Like, usually in London you play h3, right? This <laughs> one, no, but <clears throat> usually you want to play h3, right? Because after knight h5, you, you have bishop h2. So this guy surprised me with bishop d3. I saw for 8 minutes I played knight h5. Because, like, so far, out of 5 moves, I made 1, 2, 3 moves with a pawn, and 2 moves with the same piece. Well, this guy developed 1, 2, 3 pieces. Yeah, classical and <laughs> Yeah, he played bishop g3, I took, took g6, uh, c3, bishop g7, so this guy literally played the most London, London ever London, like literally, <laughs> like literally that's how uh, stereotypical London is played, yeah, this, knight d2, c3, queen c2, I played queen e7, uh, I was a bit worried of some bishop g6 in here, so I decided to play queen e7, uh, he played, he played, he played Lonsa Castle, he played knight d7. Knight g1, b6. <laughs> Longest London ever seen against 1a6. <laughs> yeah. And from 1a6, it transferred into a hippo stuff. So it was one of the funkiest game I've honestly ever played. I played b6. I mean, I don't know, this guy was making some weird moves. Knight g1, b6, f4, bishop b7. Okay, I'm playing logically, right? I'm developing. My idea is like to launch a castle, maybe something like c5. He plays e4, then I play c5 already. The idea is if he goes knight to f3. Oh god, my battle wounds broke. If knight f3 I take, and after take I have rook c8, it's a, uh, it's a skewer. And if he puts a piece on c4, I have b5, I'm winning. No, there was, no, there was a serious game. No, no, there was a serious game. There was a serious classical game. 
It was a serious class a serious classical game. I, I just didn't know what to prepare against my life or uh, against the opponent and I decided boom eight six novelty. <coughs> yeah, so knight of C was wasn't an, an option. If you play D Tix I think knight C five I am much better. Uh, oops, I can long side castle then I have like D five I am much much better. So in, he played D five, I took took knight of six. Ah, uh, now d5 is a weakness, I have two bishops, knight of c, one side castle, I was ready to crush him, honestly, rook e1, queen c7, <coughs> they were brilliant, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show you another novel, brilliancy I played, uh, in the tournament, <laughs> today, uh, he played c4, no, no, he was laughing after 1a6, <laughs> he was literally laughing after 1a6, he, he wasn't ready for that, and then he went for East London, uh, okay, I played rook hg8. My idea is like knight to g4, knight to e3, f5. I am better already here. He played knight f1. I took took. I decided to play b5 because my bishop on g7 is an absolute monster, but my bishop on b7 is pretty bad, so I decided to open the position up with b5. Take, 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 knight d5, queen e4. My idea was something like or queen e5 or knight b4, but he played queen e4. His idea perhaps was like a bishop a6 or queen a7. I decided to play kid b8 pre preventing preventing queen a7 and bishop a6. Because after bishop a6 now I have queen b6 and takes queen b2, knight c3. He played knight d2, I played knight here, this c4. The idea is that I'm technically sacking a pawn, but I'm technically not sacking a pawn. Because if knight c4 takes this rook c8, and no matter what he does, I get d5 and win a piece. If he takes with the queen, I first take with the queen and then rook c8 and then d5 and win in a piece. And if he takes bishop c4, I'm doing the same seat and then rook c8, d5 and win a piece as well. <laughs> no, he was laughing. He was laughing quite a lot. Yeah, here was position super. Was a super complex position. I understand I should be better, but I didn't know what to play. I played queen c5, which which was a good move. I'm already like plus three, and here I played knight d5, which was a blunder. Which I thought I win by force, but it was unfortunately a blunder. I should have played rook to c8 with the idea of knight d5, then like <coughs> or c3 or knight before I'm winning. But I played knight d5, this guy took. Played queen f2 and lost all my advantage, but then he made a move and then from zero is plus five to me. <clears throat> the only move which saved him was knight d2. I calculated this, I thought I have rook c8, but I completely missed that he has rook eight, and I can't take the queen because my rook is pinned and uh, this isn't really good for me. So yeah, I'm, I would be happy with the draw there. He, he has the initiative, but he played queen e2. I played rook c8, king d2, queen g3, and he resigned, f4 is falling, everything is falling. But I mean, I'm happy with the game, honestly. I think it was a really good game, especially the opening. The opening was absolutely brilliant. Um, and then I played well. I, I like this b5, the pawn sack. I spiced things up. Uh, c4, queen c5. Okay, knight d5 was a mistake, but it's difficult to see honestly. Okay, queen c4, queen of 2 Yes, anything else loses except knight d2 because otherwise, for example, if he plays, I don't know, something like queen c2, rook c8, and now rook e8 doesn't work because I take, and after, oh god, my queen's hanging. Ah, but yeah, okay, made to one thing. But okay, in some ideas, I said take, take bishop e3 within a bishop. So something like this. It wasn't a smooth win, but it was a, a funky game. And, okay. In the first round, I was playing with black. I, I knew my opponent like 20 minutes before the game, so I didn't know what to prepare. I, I played my boring stuff. And this guy knew what to play. And yeah, pretty much. The game just ended in a draw. 50 moves, but it was draw pretty much from 15 or something. Then uh, I got an opponent which has a 20-30 rating, but he played, he has zero games in the database. And I'm struggling, I don't know what to prepare even. One, like, do I prepare my stuff with d4, knight f3, and then play, play them, but, uh, but... But like, okay, it's boring, it's, the, if this guy plays solid enough, there, there will be nothing for me. And then, 
And then, as a joke, one of my friends says 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 to me uh, in, in, in the morning before the round, maybe you should play Evans Gambit to 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 get him out of prep. And I was like, okay, I I, I had zero idea what to play. And I took that idea seriously. Uh, <laughs> so the game started e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, b4. I don't know, this guy blitzed out first five moves, but after d4 main line, he sought for 20 minutes. He took. Here is the, is the best move for white is castle. There was d6, if you were watching this, Evan the Ambit preparation for the tournament, you know what to play. <laughs> but this guy he took a castled d6 queen b3 I think I was playing well and take c takes d uh, oh god I'm having it oh no I'm I'm a very hiccup it's not nice when you ah that's that's terrible when you're talking and you get a hiccup hold on okay but should be six Ah, uh, and yeah, okay, queen e7. I saw for about almost 20 minutes here. I played c takes z, which I felt was safe. But the best move was e5, which I saw as well. But like, I haven't had experience with playing three pawns down, you know? Uh, so I didn't want to risk it, honestly. Stockfish says the best line for him is take, take, queen e5, and this. But what I was worried about is that after e5 he takes. And then after takes, I'm honestly not sure. But I was like, I had a mindset, okay, two pawns is fine, I can get them back at some point. But three was a bit too much already. I had to take, and then e4, knight e5, knight e5, d takes c. And I am two point yeah, I, I was thinking, but I decided to play C takes D. Uh bishop b6, e5, knight a5, this is we traded the bishops, bishop g4, and that was already a losing blunder. He had like just not many moves which held, but they were really practically uh, hard to practically see. Stockfish that says the best move for him was d5. But definitely I think it's hard as a as a human to sacrifice a pawn, you know? Because still, he would sack this pawn, but like, okay, I would understand he gets something good, right? But I still have some bishop a3 pressure without him making, mm, making, mm, preventing him from castling. Yeah, I did not know, yeah. Okay, in the game, played bishop d4, he had to play d5. I took two crook e1, and after bishop b6, d5, I won a piece, and... I went on to win. What's a funky game? I think that was like one of my uh, quickest games of my career, honestly. Let me check. Uh, moves. Yes, I get. I get quite some games over 100. But what was the quickest win? Is a question. So this were some funky games. I know, okay, there were some pasture wins. This 24 move win is like one of my fastest games in my career. And one of my fastest wins. But technically I got a one position on, oh God, I don't want to open trees. But I got an open, uh, 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 one, a uh, one position on like move 15. Because here I get a move in twenty three mo uh, win in twenty three moves, but okay, it was equal and he just blundered in one move a whole rook, and uh, yeah, so I'm definitely quite proud of that game. Uh, the both games I played in one a six and in Evans Gambit, so that's why guys, you need to watch the Evans Gambit tutorials because it may crush in twenty thirty in twenty moves if you if you're careful enough. I know, oh, okay, best move is d6, okay, take, take, d6, d6, I got a worse position. I got six and a half plus 28 
so quite a good tournament and and then and, and, and I uh, lose info uh, and I got my first ever win against AGM so uh, honestly one of the best tournaments I've ever played not gonna lie it was pretty good okay bishop e6 was already an inaccuracy I should have played b5 with you like c5 bishop b7 with equality all right six and a half I got 22nd place under 14 price, I'm happy with the tournament. It would be slightly better. Queen d5, this, this. I mean, sure, it was okay ish. It was okay ish until I played. Uh, until I played queen b5, which was a blunder. I should have, yeah, at least like try queen c7. I am much worse, he has much more space. Uh, but still, I think it would be better than in the game because in the game, just like my queen. And then the rest was pretty simple for my opponent to realize. Um, but yeah, it was a good tournament. Six and a half. I lost one game, even though I lost it, it was like. Mm, I mean, it was a fine game, honestly. I lost to a 2550 GM. I was holding, I just I, I just made a terrible blunder in the end game. I had a faster way to draw. Uh I suffered, but still I got a completely drawn position, but then I I, 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 I just completely blundered. And I lost. Mm. I miscalculated. I'm gonna quickly just show you a sneak peek of the position. Let me show it to you real quick. E, e, e. E. Yes, black to play. This was the position. I yeah, that was a bad blunder. I had a lot of time, honestly. Yeah. I had a lot of time. Here Stokri says just simply play King E7, King here, King D6. And it's still it's, it's equal, I mean, it's still a bit, a bit difficult practically to hold. He has two scary pawns, a bishop, a more active king. Uh, yeah, yeah, someday, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I still probably would be, but yeah, I, I am not exactly sure if I would really hold it. Because I had to go for, in most case scenarios, I should go for a rook versus rook and bishop. Which is a dead draw, but it's hard, you know, to hold. But here in this position I play knight to e4, thinking that I force a draw uh, with the idea of to bishop g4, this, 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 king e7, I'm in time, and it's a draw. But what I miscalculated is that here it, he's enforced to rook e5, but he has c6. And suddenly I can stop the pawn. I tried the final try rook e4, and what do you think is the best move here for white chant? White to play and win. Let me know what do you think is the best. This was what I miscalculated. C7. Maybe not, so maybe yes. Karma, actually, I'm not sure whether do you really think c7 or you're just trying to to make it like you don't know. <laughs> bishop d God, what is bishop d1 minus words? c4? It should be a move. <laughs> okay. It's a be a move. No, but bishop d1, I mean, it's good, sure. If your opponent will take, but if he doesn't, then take c4 is not good. Bishop e3. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought was a draw. Uh, and it was. That's what I was hoping he would go for. And it's a draw. Yeah, e6. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. That's what I was hoping is a draw. Mm. And it was a draw. The idea is that I draw after king e7 and after c7, uh, c7 I suck the rook and in king e7 I'm fine. But, but, 
but yeah, it can be five. And let me calculate and lose the game. Because rook g4, c7 he promotes. Rook d8. Thank you so much, Piaggio, for subbing for t one for one. Thank you so much, Piaggio. How are you doing? Long time no see. I see you changed your name. Uh, wait, you were you were blue, right? And now you're pink. How are you doing? Uh, King b5. What do you mean on this verse? And yes, rook d8. Oops, rook d8. He had c7, c8. And that's yeah, I miscalculated was All wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. So you're not doing alright, you're doing all wrong. Unusual, but okay. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it will be alright soon. Yes, yes, yes. Bishop is three. A big mistake from my opponent. Oh god, how how many times did you have it for? Yeah, get better soon, Viadio. Get better. Castle, 96 takes. You go with me. This, this, and you would be much better. Two bishops. Two bishops have a weakness, it's much, much better. Queen b2, bishop b5. Inaccuracy, we just, yeah, here to try 94. Oopsie daisy. Here to try 94. Only two as far as I know. Okay, yeah, but get better soon, hopefully. We should speed recovery. Take, take. Uh, bishop c4 and you would be better even though he, I, I'm a pawn up, but I have two weak pawns. He has two good bishops and yeah. Knight d4, a6, slight inaccuracy. I should have played bishop d5 and rook db1, queen c3, queen c1, queen b2, rook b1, queen c3. It would be a draw, but yeah, I tried to risk it. Knight c6 was a mistake. I should have gone b takes c4. Six and rook here, queen c3, knight e6 here. Yeah, he would be slightly better because they have terrible, uh, they have terrible pawns, and he has a good bishop. Knight e6, uh, take this, and yes, this was a mistake. I know it wasn't a good move, I should play like queen e5 or something, but I just wanted to try and have fun. Uh, rook bb1, he would be better. Yeah, he would be. Much better because they have weaknesses. He has a good bishop. Much better. But yeah, takes this and yeah, he blundered, made it one. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, he should have went here and after queen d3, h3, he's completely, completely winning, but he blundered, made it one. On the rim dragon, 50 and 68. I just wanted to hear you a bit late. And you are a bit late. But welcome. Anyways, how are you doing? The defense is no defense. <laughs> yeah, best defense is attack. Uh, yeah, yeah. The the game was the game in a bit very bit of GM was pretty nice. But yeah, I think that was it for today. Chat that was a good stream, honestly. Maybe not best, but a very good stream. I got the best hype train ever. So today, so that was pretty great, guys. Thank you so much, Lorgan Ten gifted subs. Karma, five gifted subs, Biagio subbed at tier one, Pookie subbed at tier one, uh, Biagio for four months, Pookie for nine months, Karma also subbed at tier three for 66 months, and Panda subbed at tier three for 48 months. So, <laughs> I, I, I'm glad you did enjoy them, Biagio. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so thanks a lot everybody for the support. 20 subs today. That was great. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Also, 11 days ago, and you gift gifted a T1 sub. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a fantastic rest of the day. And I will see you tomorrow. Take, get better. Biagio, by Manus Spurs, by Chess Family, by Pookie, by Biagio, by Lorgan, by Karma, by Manus Spurs, by <coughs> Dexby. Bye bye to the chick. Bye bye. Peter, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Everybody who, by Elo, by Niels, and everybody who is here, have a fantastic rest of the day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.